you remember the first guitar you got? Yeah, well, the first guitar I ever got was some, like, it was a Montgomery Ward's guitar or something. Kirk Hammond gave it to me, you know, when he first taught me the first couple of chords and shit. And it, action was like a half inch high. It was terrible, you know. And then I got a Gibson Les Paul copy, a gold top copy that was really nice, but it was also stolen property. And, um, <laughs> oh, that's so metal. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and uh, the cops took it back. I went to Juvenile Hall for a night. That was all part of the big Exodus stolen gear heist, you know? We were <laughs> kids from the ghetto, you know? We, took, we stole shit because we couldn't afford it. And, uh, but I lost that. And then I got my Hondo Strat, which is on the back of, you know, it's a little, on the live photo of Bonnevoy Blood. You know, and like the funny thing is, you know, I didn't think much about it when I, when I smashed the guitar up on stage one night, you know, cause I had a couple of, you know, I probably only owned three guitars maybe at the time. Like who needs that one? I'd trade so many guitars for that guitar back. I mean, yeah. guitars like worth thousands and <laughs> just to have that Hondo Strat. Yeah, yeah. What is, whether it's Slayer, whether it's Exodus, man, what is the riff that you play today that is the funnest for you to play that that you're playing it and you still kind of get that kind of giddy feeling what what is the riff that is like the gift that keeps giving for you i don't know there's a lot of them um depends on what the crowd's doing you know like you know if i'm sitting there right now you know yeah toxic waltz i might not be the most excited to play it but when people are beating themselves to death you know it's awesome <laughs> Yeah, it's all, I'm playing it way fast. <laughs> Some of my favorite riffs are in songs that, like with X's that we haven't put in the set in years, so I need to rectify that, you know? Yeah, Everybody's yeah. always like, play verbal razors, you know, and I f***ing love that riff, you know? <laughs> I just like riffs. Yeah. I like playing guitar. I, uh, I still play all the time at home, you know. Yeah. A lot of guys, you know, get off the road, they don't play. And, uh, yeah. no, I've always got one that's been piled all over the house. <laughs> yeah, there, there's just something about, for me, like, there's just something about the riff that the riff is what kind of transports me back into time. You, you yeah. know, I, like, like I, I know where I was when I heard this riff. You know, I was in my car or I was in front of oh, TV yeah, watching yeah. Headbangers Ball. Like for me, it's, it's all about the riff, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And I can remember like a lot of riffs first time I heard them. Like, yeah. you know, I remember the first time I ever heard. Where shark. were you? Fast as a shark, except yeah. Yeah. Restless and Wild, one of the greatest albums ever. Where were you at? Probably sitting in Kirk Hammett's old Skylark. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where we listened to all our music at, was in that, you know. Like the first Iron Maiden album, first time I ever heard that, you know, it was changed the way music sounded. Yeah. Like nothing even sounds like that to me anymore. That was like I'd never heard music before in my life. Right. Same with the, the, the first Angel Witch album, you know. Mm -hmm. Great shit. Yeah. 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 It's it's. It, 
to me, they're like moments in time, like stamped moments, you know, when you yeah, yeah. can hear them. And I, Especially as a kid, because we used to cover all those Iron Maiden songs and at backyard parties, you know, when I was like 17 and everybody thought they were originals, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we did f***ing Prowler and yeah. yeah. Shit, you know. Man, if you want to give every uh, all, all the people watching, man, what is uh, what's kind of coming up for Gary Holt? Um, uh, riding this Slayer roller coaster yeah. until the end. I've been writing the new Exodus material for like months now, mm -hmm. for like close to a year now. I've got like a massive catalog of riffs and songs. Yep. And uh, Tom Hunting and I are just getting together when I'm home and, and uh, we're just working on new stuff and taking our time, you know. Good. We're not in any hurry. We're going to make sure it's an uh, earth-shaking moment when the album's done. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, thank you for everything, man. And, uh, you know, on behalf of the instrument world, man, I, I, I love the fact that there's a signature guitar that's among the best sellers right on. In, in the entire industry, man. I think that that's awesome. Couldn't happen to a better guy, man. So, thank you. So thank yeah. you so much for taking the time. Dude, thanks for thank hanging you. out with us, man. Right on. This is Loudwire's Gear Factor you. hanging out with the guitar god himself, Gary Holt. Horns up. <laughs>